turkey and family and football. It's the annual Turkey Bowl, but this year high school football players will be playing for Micah, the 10-year-old boy who was shot and killed at a game earlier this month. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lanz is live at Timber Creek High School in Slicklerville, where the game is now underway. Shante. Janelle, many people at this field carried a brown paper bag like this one on it. Micah Tennant's face, they raised money in his honor. The Atlantic City fifth grader was shot in his neck and killed several weeks ago during a Camden Pleasantville playoff game. He was sitting in the stands during uh, that game. A 15 year old boy was grazed by a bullet and a 27 year old man was also shot. They're both OK. Police say the 27 year old was the intended target. He was charged along with five other men. Well, today, the Timber Creek Regional High School hosted Winslow High School. During the game, donations were collected at the concession stand. The money will go to Micah's family. We talked with the school district's athletic director and a player about their fundraiser. It's your biggest fear as an athletic director. It's your biggest fear is something of that happening because uh, you never know. Um, and it just hits home because I worry about that in our own events, something like that happening. And, and I feel for the, the Pleasantville athletic director, their community, dealing with something that had nothing to do with the football game itself. It, it honestly was just, it, just taking that moment just to really think about what I have and what I've accomplished so far, just like my, my the gratitude for my life and having all my brothers with me locking arms like that, it was just a special moment for me. Back on the field, the players and cheerleaders from both teams locked arms in solidarity in support of Micah Tennant at the start of the game. Meanwhile, Camden players continue to honor Micah during their playoff games. Reporting live in Sicklerville, New Jersey, Shantae Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. An unusual